Hi, Rich Spazano from Digitally Fearless here. Today I'm going to try to do a retro pop-up photo manipulation. I also did the same tutorial in iPad. You can check that out on YouTube. So let's get started. So I went into stock photos and I typed in jump and, and this is on pixels. And then I also typed in TV on pixels. And these are the ones that I pulled in and the link to them is in the description below. So there's the uh, TV and there's the little girl jumping. Let me get close ups here. So the first thing I want to try to do, and again, I'm, I'm attempting this. I haven't really worked with it. I just pulled in the photos and had the idea. So I'm going to see how it's going to work is I keep the originals always. Plus I need them for the uh, iPad tutorial that's coming up. So I'm going to duplicate these two controller command J and then I'm going to move the TV to the front and the girl up top also. And then I'm hiding the originals. So I just keep the originals when I'm ready for them. Okay. So what I like to do is get to the TV first and let's look at the TV. I want to kind of mask out this oval in the TV. So I'm going to get close up and I'm going to use the pen tool for this. And I'm just really going to be like snapping a couple of lines. And I'm going to try and get it close. But again, these tutorials that I don't want to go on really long. So if it's not perfect, you should be trying much harder to get it right. I'm just using a line so I can just see it. So I just have, it doesn't matter what size line because we're going to get rid of it, but I want to be able to see it. And then I'm going to go from the pen tool to the node tool and I'm going to get closer. I'm using command plus to get closer. If you're on the PC, it's control plus, I believe. And I'm just going to kind of curve these out a little bit like this. It'd be easier if the TV was horizontal, but it's since the TV is on an angle, I have to pretty much do it by hand. Otherwise, I might have used the uh, shape tool with the curved corners on the rectangle with curved corners, but this is not going to be too hard, I don't believe. And that's close enough, I think. So now what I'll do is I am going to make it white and then I'm going to give it no outline. So we just have a shape and what I'll do is eventually I'll make that into a mask and oops, it looks like I missed a couple of curves here. So let me fix those right now. See if I can get those to look good. So we're just going to use this later on. It's not a real mask yet. We'll, we'll put it as a template for mask, template mask. So, I will need that for more than one thing. So now I'm going to do Controller Command Zero and get out to the whole photo again. And next, now that I have this white spot here, I'm going to duplicate it. I have to go to the Move tool, and then I'm going to duplicate it. Controller Command J, and maybe I will keep this one of them down here too with my originals. And I have these turned off, so you won't see them. So let's take the girl. I want to take the girl and I want to duplicate it. Control or Command J. Now I'm going to take the top one and go to Live Filters and Half Tone. And there's Half Tone. And of course you see all these crazy dots, but I don't want to go with dots. I think I can, instead of monochrome with dots, I'm going to do lines. And I'm going to kind of bring down the contrast and maybe make more lines. Now bring them down too. make them smaller and kind of think about an old school TV when they used to have these lines whenever you saw them filmed because they did every other line when when they were broadcasting. So that looks pretty good. Now again, I'm not sure if you're going to see this on YouTube, but they are just even lines. There's no shading in them. They're just lines going across and I think that looks pretty good to me. And so I am going to now rasterize this. 
So it's no longer live at this point. It's just a pixel image. And I'm going to take the two images. Let me. That's the girl with the color and no lines, and that's the girl with the lines. So if I select the two of them, I'm going to just kind of angle with the TV. You can see the TV on the side there. Maybe I'll bring her maybe about here, maybe. And in fact, I can lower the opacity just to see where I think she might want to be. I think I'll go up a little bit more like that. And let's bring the opacity back up. Now, because I rasterize it, the lines turn too. On YouTube, you might not be able to see this that clearly, but if I get really close, you can see that the lines are on the same diagonal. So now what I want to do is I want to take the top photo and create a group just with that photo. So Control or Command G. And in that group, I'm going to bring my template mask to the top. I'm sure there's easier ways to do this and someone will tell me. So here I have this one to the top and I'm going to right click and I'm going to say rasterize to mask. And there she is. So now we have just her, except I want this to just be on that group. So everything else is showing. And you see how she's just with the lines there. And if you can turn that off, you can see what I mean. The TV's there. She's in there. Okay. So that's pretty good. So now let's hide everything here. And just let's focus on her. Now let's first look. Think about what she has to be. Everything above here you want to be see-through. So we are going to really pick her out of this whole thing. And everything here you want to keep. Well, it doesn't even matter. Anything below here is nothing. So what we're going to do is I'm going to pick on her now and hide this. And I'm going to my selection brush. And let's try and select her. And once again, I'm not going to do it perfect, but it's good enough for this tutorial. That's close enough, so I'm going to do Refine. So in Refine, I'll now just take my brush and go like this. So we can see her hair coming out. Maybe here. And a little bit more here. And I think that's good enough for what we need. So what I'm going to do now is New Layer with Mask. And I'm going to hit Apply. And that's what we have. And that's pretty good, actually. So let's move it back a little. Let's leave that at that. And now we turn this one on. And now look at that. Now it looks like she's popping out of a TV. But it's we can help, we can make it a little bit better. I want to move her above everybody. So she's on top right now. And we want to get some of this out of here, but we want to leave a little bit like she's coming out a little. So let's touch the mask. And on the mask, remember we paint with only black or white. If we use black, it shows through. And if we use white, it doesn't. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to give a full hardness here and see what we can get. See how that happens? So I'm going to kind of curve her like, She's coming out of the TV. Now I'm going to switch over to white and do the same thing. Just kind of make it like she's trying to jump out of the TV and maybe soften it a little. So now I'm going to turn my hardness down like that and see if we can make her. Whoops. We can now go back to black. And see if we can soften how she's popping out here. So now the last thing we need to do is to find, figure out how to get this photo up top. Well, there's a couple of things we can do. One is we can select this photo. First, we need to rasterize it. Otherwise, your selection won't work. So let's do rasterize. And then we can select the very, very top of this photo, like with a rectangle, something like that. And then Control or Command J. And then we can just stretch it up, which works for this particular photo. I mean, you can blur it out a little, but I think it does work. And Control-Command-D to deselect. 
So in the end, that's, uh, that's how you do a pop-up. You could do a lot of more interesting things, and I'm just trying to give you a quick example on how to do it. So I hope you liked this tutorial, and if you did, please click like and subscribe, and have a great day. Thank you so much. Bye. Thank you.